All right, so we're going to go to a rummage sale, see what we can get. I got, um, this is all the books and stuff. Got a bunch of DVDs. But the Thomas puzzle would sell. Get that. I got a bunch of what is this guy right here? I got Star Wars trilogy. But what are these? Yeah. Uh VHSs are ten cents. Uh-huh. They're ten cents each, the VHS? Yeah. I guess I gotta get a dollar's worth then. We got original dinosaurs. You have a bag or? Sure, bag or box. I guess a bag. My fair lady's actually pretty good too. I wanted the kids to see that one. I got some John Wayne. She wore yellow ribbons, actually, a really good movie. There's, I don't know, a bunch of Wayne. That whole set there is Wayne, but I don't know. She wore a yellow ribbon. Ribbon's kind of hard to find. Kind of looks like, we'll try that one. I don't know if any of these are good, but. Some of them look kind of fun. Yeah, that, that one definitely. Looks like an early zombie movie. Uh, is there anything else? When is their uh, sale? Like a uh, bag sale? Do they have a bag tomorrow, sale? Yeah, eight dollars tomorrow. Oh wow! You fill a bag inside stuff, not outside. And, uh, and do they go like half off? On anything like the price yeah, stuff today? Outside is half off. What? Everything outside is half off. To tomorrow, right? Yeah, like things all you're buying today? Yeah. Be five, five cents. Five cents, tomorrow. oh wow. Okay. So we got ten. Alright, we're, we're gonna and how much is a puzzle? Uh that's just a dollar. Alright, so we're we're at two two fifty or so what is what I'll try to find one more. Uh, maybe this one. All right, so that's my. Sounds good. Uh, do you want me to pay you or go pay inside? Yeah, you can pay me. Oh. All right, so I'll show you what else I get uh, later. <laughs> I don't know. So it's kind of cleared out now, but I, I bought a few things. I guess we'll come back for the bag sale. Bought a, a bag of toys outside. Here's a Harry Potter game, seven bucks. It's kind of expensive. But I bought a bag of toys and some jewelry already. I just didn't film that. Um, this is kind of like what's left here at the sale. I'm sure they'll line up tomorrow for the bag sale. It'll make it interesting. I guess the Boy Scout belt. Yeah, why not? Might be able to cut that up and put that in a piece of furniture. That's kind of a neat little bottle. I guess it's a Wheaton. I was hoping to find some pewter. All right. I'll show you the, what, what we picked up. Look at that Patagonia. We want 25 for the whole. Wow. 
full raincoat, it was a stink. Might have to get that. That fits me, that's a really, really nice ring gear. I mean, it's heavy, but it's nice. I would think the, it, we got, got to go to Moe's hats. Let's see what size the coat itself is. Uh, I guess it's, oh, it's an extra large, so it's kind of big, but. But for 25 bucks, I might be, I bought a Philly shirt already, but. All right, I'll get back to you. All right, so this is what I bought at the church sale. I did get the Patagonia rain suit. Um, they had marked it from, they had it at 50, they marked it to 25. I think I might keep that for me. I mean, it's it's definitely older, but it's really nice. It's The biggest problem is it's heavy. It's Gore-Tex, and so it's hot. It works really well for the, for winter. I got a Thomas Train puzzle, 100 piece, give that to my nephew. I got the dinosaurs. If I don't sell these, I mean, I'm gonna have my kid watch that one. Uh, if I don't sell this, I'm gonna probably use them for the, for the bus um, as stickers, because, or one of them, you know. Maybe, maybe decal something else, because the dinosaur ones are kind of fun another horror movie some sometimes the old VHS horrors do well um, I got got this Philly starter for four bucks so I spent a, a dollar fifty twenty five let's see I'm trying to just add it up real fast so that's thirty bucks with the puzzle and and the shirt uh, And then another dollar, like this was a dollar fifty. All the VHS. I got these combat boots, vintage, um, eight regular. For uh, I think they got, they came for like three dollars. Those will always sell very well. I got um, some silver plate scrap and a match holder. I just I just always like these match holders. They're they're a lot of fun. Uh, this is a bag of jewelry. We'll go through that in a second. This is the pipe wrench that I was real excited to get for three dollars. That's definitely twenty dollar bill. It's it's like a hundred and fifty bucks. So I might sell that online actually. I got this Boy Scout belt buckle. Some more silver plate scrap. Um, got this belt for a dollar. I thought that was good. Got my Mexican hat. Now, uh, that, that's pretty neat. I don't know what I'm gonna, probably save it and sell it. The cheese box for five, the, the ice container for uh, 75 cents, Weston House. Um, I bought this never opened uh, three in one motor oil. I got to oil the kids' bikes. Um, and then I got a bag of Play School for four bucks. These sell for a dollar each online, uh, regular. So, I mean, there's like 15 or so in there. And then let's see, I thought I saw a vintage, uh, a vintage, I haven't even opened it up. And I saw uh, Ultimus. I got this bag for eight dollars. Yeah, that's nobody special. This was the one I I saw. And his head's there. He looks to be old. Park metal. Got the sticker right there. It's got its landing gear. So that does have wings. Missing arms. Let's see. I don't know if they're in here. Eh, 
it doesn't look like it, but I was still excited just because of that vintage transformer. It, you don't see too many of them anymore. Um, I'm sure the other part's probably at the sale and I missed it. He's a lot of fun. But, all right, that's, that's everything. Everybody have a, a good day. I'm gonna go to the scrapyard tomorrow. Thanks for uh, thanks for watching. Uh, this is my driftwood. I'm gonna. This is all the stuff I collected for uh, making crafts with. I'm gonna. Hopefully, one day it slows down and I have time to actually play with it. I think it's pretty cool. But we'll see. This is gonna make an awesome sign. This big piece. Um, my girl, she paints pretty, pretty, pretty good. So we're going to do the same thing with these. We're going to cut them and turn them into signs. They're old, uh, old saw horses, but just the texture. And if you have something painted on it, or maybe even a saying, they, they seem to sell. Um, but that's about it. Everybody have a good day. Thanks. Bye. Alright, and this was $21, this bag. Um, it was all the from the jewelry department. It's where I went first. Sometimes you find a bunch of neat stuff. Let's see, I'll pull it up one at a time. I got this uh, Britain... Uh, 7th Cavalry Soldier for 50 cents. This was really cool. This is like a 1940s celluloid uh, knife I got for a dollar. But it's just, I mean, celluloid's very brittle, but it still just has a really neat look. Um, let's see. I got that fox head for a dollar. Could call it a husky. Got this for my my woman. I think it's George Jensen. That's what I wanted to check. George Jensen's really a. Uh, see how it has all these balls, and it has the flower. Um, let's see. It will tell us in the back. It is. Nope, somebody else. I don't know if I can read that. It says F R O M, but it, I mean it's made really well. It's still a really pretty flower, but it's sterling for seven bucks. It weighs about a half ounce. It's definitely worth more than scrap. Um, three bucks. I got this cute little sterling. Uh, this is 1920s sterling bracelet. Uh, I'll sell that online. I don't know why I bought that. It's just a... It looks cooler in the box than it does here. Uh, that's a Mexican... or er, Navajo uh, sterling roadrunner. It was on that pin box for a dollar. And it looked like gold filled for a buck fifty. And last but not least, I got uh, this really fun uh, chopper. It doesn't have a maker mark, but it definitely has age. I guess on the wheels, it's made in England. Uh, but he's a lot of fun. That was that was all I got. So hopefully she likes the flower. We'll find out. Everybody have a good day. Peace. Thanks for watching.